Welcome to the Kim D. Snyder Show, episode number 159. This is where I share my tips and tricks as a business leader, leader, owner, and executive so you can avoid the mistakes and learn from the lessons that I did. Are you getting the introductions you want for yourself or your for your business? I've recently been reading Judy Robinette's Power Connector book, and she had said something, and it made me think about what are the number of connections I'm getting back. They definitely are not proportionate to what I'm giving out. I've started tracking my data in the last couple of years, even though I've been doing connections for a while. On average, I give about two introductions per week times 50 is 100 for the last couple of years. That's 200 connections I've made with people that want information to help each other. I've got five to 10 back and I didn't even realize what I was getting back. I was very happy to serve, but I was also spending a lot of time doing this. And so I really need to start wrapping some criteria around this. Now, the way that I define an introduction is a mutually beneficial introduction to two people that will get a benefit from both sides. Now, this is sort of related to episode number 86, where I talk about cultivating referral partners because they might be some referral partners. Um, but it's really for information and resources. I will definitely say that I think the, the onus is on me for not making this work and not tracking my data. Episode number 158, I talked about 2.5 ways you're not getting what you want. And this is exactly me. I'm not asking, I'm not being specific. And I didn't even do the legwork to really know what I needed to do to be specific. The other thing that I did is I did verbal vomit. And so not only was it not specific, it was so <laughs> overwhelming. They didn't even know what to do. And I'm embarrassed to say, I actually did that to somebody today when they were asking who I needed to meet. And I talked about, here's some, you know, here's some other traits of their personality. Here's some of the things they may say. I should have been super specific about Here's one story about a situation and how it was fixed. And that should have been it. And when I talked to the person again in a week or a month or two months, I could give another story. So that's the first thing is I'm not asking and I'm not specific. Number two or another one is that I've been in the wrong crowd. And I've realized that for a while, but I wasn't really realizing the implications it was having on the growth for me and my business. That you can see in episode number 140 if you want more information on that. The other thing that I looked at is that I made it too easy for people coming to me to ask. And again, it wasn't mutually beneficial, but I'm going to start putting in place a couple things that I've done in other parts of my business. The first thing is that um, depending how the request comes in, if it's somebody from a qualified or a known source for me, I will be less likely to do this. But what I'm going to do in place now is have people send me an email with who they want to meet and why. The similar process I do for this is when people ask me for information, I used to just go down and search it and track it and then send it out and then I would never hear anything back. And it was like I was doing all the work and there was no you know, risk or, or onus on their side. So when I started asking people to send me information they wanted, it cut it down and it was way more quality. I'm going to do that now. So when people come to me and they ask, I'm going to ask them to send me specifically what they want. Then I'll go ahead and take it from there. The other thing that I've not done is I've not looked at the data. So I've looked at the number of connections, but I haven't looked at the number of opens to make sure that I'm giving quality connections and referrals that they're working, getting feedback about what they would like to see and what would they not like to see so I can help serve them in a better way. So that is how I'm going to make my intros more productive, better for everybody involved. For the show notes for this episode, go to kimdsnyder.com slash 159.